All right, here we go. 2021. Heritage Baseball. 12 box case break number one. These are your teams. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. Good luck to you. No, there isn't. I'm not sure why he's on that set. <laughs> so many arms in there. Awesome. Yeah. I love it. Five boxes. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. And there's some on, on card. Yep. All right, here we go. I like how these pop box toppers are just like folded pieces of paper. <laughs> and they're so hard to ship when they're like a big oversized card. Most of them are like base and not even numbered. Ah, uh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Here you go, Acuna, big jumbo card. Very well centered. Imagine that grading slab you get on that thing. I was just thinking. <laughs> the... I love this USA patch. Uh, cool. I think there's only like two teams over 50 bucks in that break. Dave Roberts. That's funny. Um, let's see. Probably for... I'll probably put him up. I'll probably put him up at some time this weekend um, so that we can start in on him early next week. I like how they uh, print what the variation is on the back. Mm -hmm. I hate it when you have to play the little code game. Yeah, Read that okay. ultra fine print, small print. All right, we're off.
Harley Blackman. Black. There we go. So he. I wonder if the White Sox won. Cunha. Boyhood photos of the stars. That's what we need for Bueller. We can have those made by cops. Yeah. Ooh, a chrome one. Trouty in action. That's cool. 2020 rookie stars. Brian Hayes and Jose Garcia. The 372. I like the color combo. Good design this year. Crazy how they can make them feel so old. Casey Mize. Brian Hayes. Pearson and Tom Hatch. Bobby Fisher. The obscure cards. What do you think Trevor Bauer will do this year? How will he do? Yeah. Alec Baum, New Age Performers. Vivo, I saw that. He had a great day. Then he, uh, he got another hit too as well. Blackman. Rockies. Jeff. Evan White. All right, there's our first box. These are the good ones that I found. What are they? They're uh, action. What? Yeah, the groom. Black bordered flip stock, high number short print. I numbered short print black border. Action, team name, color swap, nickname. 
Okay. Oh, he's a fun sort. How much sticky stuff they allow him to use? <laughs> oh, Cabrian Hayes went yard today in his first at bat. That, you know, that's so weird. It seems to happen a lot. Guy's first at bat, home run. French text, yeah, the uh, OPG. Where'd our... Ladovich, you collect OPG? Wonder if they still make that. Send it to like Canada and overseas or something. Kyle Tucker going to be ready yet? I feel like we've been waiting on him to break out for a while. He was up last year. Um, just need Center guard. Team color. Bryce Harper. Nice. I wonder if all the variations will be backwards. Man, that'll make things a lot easier. Huh. They're all they are all backwards. That's awesome. Um I didn't know that Panini, Panini bought that name. OPG. I wonder why. There's a bomb. Yep. Those, the card companies all hate each other. They sue each other every year. <laughs> nice Yelich. Chrome Refractor. 572. I think that's like Upper Deck's whole business model now. Just sue everyone. You know why they lost all their licenses? They were, uh, forging 
and then over printing um trading card games in um asia like not pokemon but whatever else it was that they were doing yeah That's cool. Cunha. Oh, that's cool. Since 1996, they've got all the uh, Rookie of the Year guys on the back. This is one of those products where it's like, actually cool to read the back of the card. Yeah, real content. Stats, where they're from, how big they are. Fun. But yeah, fun little tidbit. The Kino, game used. Reds, Rod. We're through two. Can you pull this up and sleep there? Um, yeah, but there's a lot of stuff that I would. I've been pulling like this and stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just kind of left those in there for later to pull out as we were sorting. Zinn, you want to hit me with some trivia? You got to make it easy, though. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, I bought it specifically. So you had something to eat. I got a plain one. I didn't know what you liked. Yeah. Oh, Dustin May. Where'd your eyebrows go? It's like on the side of his head. His eyebrows? Yeah, look at this picture. It's so weird. Where did, where'd you go? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, no eyebrow variation. No eyebrow variation. Uh, if I owned a car company, I would be weird variations like that. Yeah, I would. Yeah. It'd be fun. I don't know if they're allowed to. Action, Javier Baez. Um, 
Sounds like you're gonna get sued anyway, so you might as well just have fun with it. Right? Everyone. Well, the uh, so from my understanding, um, I forget his name. Um, but he used to work for Panini and uh, in the NBA division. And Panini has to send them a copy of every single card that they print. And then he had to go in and approve every single photo and everything on it that they were going to use. Yeah. Baseball, I in training, they like they'll come be like a player's meeting only. Okay. They literally hand the checks out. Players get like twenty dollars <laughs> for the day. You no, know, for like like just for them to be able to have <laughs> twenty dollars. Like I remember handing it to Prince. I don't want you have $20. He, 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 I gave it to him. He looked at it. He didn't even say a word. He just handed it back to me. Like, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Does that mean I get to keep it? <laughs> Real one. Hey, it's the fake guy. Jake Cronenworth, 46 Dude, out of 72. <laughs> Padres. Schiavetti. He's hitting three times better than Tatis this season. <laughs> it's your guy, dude. It's a sharp card, too. You know what the best part is? He played at Michigan, too. So it's just all around your kind of guy. Yeah. You're, you will never forget, like, 20 years from now, you're going to check up on this guy. Yeah. Like, How did his career go? <laughs> It's just gonna be that fun like that. He's like your like he's just a gamer. Put him in there, he's gonna work the cow. Alright, here you go. Here's your first trivia question. Here's how he does it. He lays it out, gives you the their career in years, so nineteen eighty eight through two thousand seven, and then he puts who they played for first. And all the teams they played with, and then the team he played with last. So he's a rookie with the Padres in '88. Sonny Gray, Chrome. Man, he looks. Is he ever going to age? <laughs> <laughs> like forever a little kid. Mm. The funny part is he has aged. If you look at his like his rookie year, his jersey didn't even <laughs> He's gonna be like seventy <laughs> years old and look like a thirty year old. Yeah, as in that Cabrera home run was awesome. I was going nuts. I was watching it live. In the snow. Apo Taco. I gotta see that. I sent it to you. It's awesome. So he used to for the whole oh, that um, cataloging. All of their old photos and autographs and stuff like that. He's super into like all the old stuff. Carries around a Zinbeck baseball card in his wallet. Does he? Yeah. When's it from? Like 1917? Cody Bellinger. All right. Oh, cool. A little poster action. You can put a damp towel on top of it and 
iron it out? I don't know. If you, if you like creased photos. Story Gray. Yeah. The Zimbax around 1914. Man, that's an old, old. Zin, can you give us some clues on that? Yeah, we need we need some clues. Or at least how many years like they played for each team? Basically. I'm guessing it's a relief pitcher or a catcher. They played for the White Sox twice, three times for the White Sox. Cleveland, Colorado, and Texas. Later became a manager, but only for a few games. Man, how long have we been doing this? You know I need them easier than that. Managed for six games? Is he an all-star as a player? How many years do you play for some of these? It's tricky. Some of the guys in the chat will get it like that every time. I'm like, how'd you do that? <laughs> His father played in the majors. I don't even have like a pool to think of. Mm -mm. I got nothing. I forfeit. He was an all-star. So it's a junior. Jesse Winker. Man, he had a horrible autograph. Remember his Bowman autographs? Jesse Winker? Like, dude for the Reds. Tony Gwynn Jr. Sonny Gray Refractor to 572. His brother played in the majors. Um, uh, Sandy Alomar Jr. Oh, yeah. Cause he Got an action, Nate Pearson. Why is that an action? He's just standing there. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, the the other action was at, at least. Yeah, I got it right. After yeah, some good. mega clues. I actually got his autograph. His nice. We went to Sox Fest when I was a kid. Oh my God, it was like the worst experience ever. It was so busy, so busy. Waited in line for three and a half hours to get Frank Thomas's autograph. We were still about a half an hour out and they called it. I hate when they I was like, like none of us, my mom, my dad, me, we had no idea that that was a possibility. What they need to do it's is just the completely line. dejected. <laughs> I think I, I remember feeling bad for my dad. 
Like this was a big deal for him to bring me there. I yeah, yeah well, I got there eventually. Want another uh, trivia? All right, let's roll. I didn't know he started off. With Cronenworth, real one. <laughs> Nineteen ninety one through two thousand and three. Started with Boston, then Anaheim, then the Mets. Hey, kill a brew. I can kill a brew. Is it a pitcher? Not a pitcher, okay. That's very helpful. It's not Nomar. Move on. See, Weebo got it. Weebo. You should do that and like legit keep a tally. Yeah. Like for like a week. And see. That'd be so much fun to see like at the end. Who gets the most points? Get him a free box or something. It used to be a lot easier to give away free boxes. Yeah. You know, when they didn't cost a thousand dollars each. <laughs> well, now like two thousand. I know. It's insane. I guess that's what like I guess masters are now. Well, I think that's a result of the rookie base card craze. Right, because there was really, other than to just have the fun of opening packs, there wasn't a whole lot of reason to buy retail, even just a couple of years ago. Get some banged up, thumbed up jersey card pack searcher guy in there. All the corners, all the edges are all bent up with thumbnail <laughs> divots in them more. yeah Here's if they're scale there. yes no i've never seen it in person Neither. Videos. nice joe adele action is the action smiling all right Dude, this is flashbacks yep yep i saw that what year did the calculator watch come out? Remember those? Our teachers would never let us wear them in class. I'm like, that's bogus. That's the whole reason why everyone got them. Dylan Carlson? Man, Randy Arrow's arena really came on. Raised two uh, before the season last year. People were saying that they over they overpaid. They gave up uh, four. Yeah. Everyone's like, why would they do that? Boom. 
it's weird. They're those low market teams just have the best talent evaluators. Nine to twenty twenty one. Started with Pittsburgh, moved to the Giants, then the Yankees, and then the Phillies. So, um, is he still an active player? Nice Lou Bob. That one's easy. That's uh McCutcheon. All right. McCutcheon? Yeah, it looks right. Nine. Yep. Man, I remember pulling his top scrum auto back in the day. Yeah. Rookie. He was so good. Those are the ones that I like. Oh. Nice. Cunha. Game used bat relic. Clubhouse collection. I know. Not a bad thing. McCutch, you are correct. McCutcheon. Hey, Nate Peterson. I thought it was a one on one because of those stripes right there. <laughs> Part of his damn pan. <laughs> Weebo wants a tough one. Give him a tough one. How's the, uh, is it cold over there, Zin? He's over in Naples. Right. Naples. With all the old people. <laughs> it's like the cleanest town in the world. Ninety? Yeah, yesterday was warm um, during the day, and then it got real cold. Yeah. It's supposed to be like. 50 degrees all weekend. Yeah. Is that a special edition tribute card? You like 50? All right. I'm a big fan of like 70 to 80. I would do really well in Southern California.
All right. So now, 1986 through 1997, started with Texas, Cubs, Philadelphia, Houston, California Angels, and the Royals. This is the tough one for Weibo. Joe Adele. Christian Yelich Chrome. This one's semi tough. For you. What's this one? Tyler O'Neill. Oh, uh, this is the French. French back. Tyler O'Neill. Tom. So what's your guys' favorite Topps baseball product? Can't say anything that starts with Bowman. The price is right. All right. get some more of those digital watches can we get a digital watch 101 do they make parallels of those <laughs> yeah i found another auto no way yeah dalton varsha bam Diamondbacks, Paul. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. Best remember for one pitch. Like a type of pitch or for throwing? One pitch. So, like he had a filthy knuckleball, or Charlie Huff? No, because he played for the White Sox. Yeah. Your pitcher in six teams, not an ace. Yeah. Jay Gross met Dalton Varsho when he was a little kid. George Mitterwald. Hmm. Cool. One pitch he threw. Okay. Well, it wasn't Randy Johnson. 
Oh, God. I, <laughs> I was scrolling through Instagram a couple weeks ago, and some video popped up of a Little League game. a couple weeks ago, and some video popped up of a Little League game. It hits a foul ball straight up in the air, and then all of a sudden, like, you see all the people in the background freaking out, and the pitcher running in, and, yeah, and a bird falls. <laughs> what do you got, Weebo? You got anything on this one? I got nothing. Uh, what about, wait, 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 um, oh, God, Mitch, um, what was the wild thing, pitcher for the Cubs, what was his name, Mitch Williams, Mitch Williams, I won! Yeah. Woohoo! Let's go! You won that uh, player that played on the Tigers at some point. Yeah, Tigers. Tigers player. Not Miguel Cabrera. <laughs> Tigers next. Not. Let's get it. I must have missed it. A beautiful picture. That is cool. That is cool. Just so clear. Just eat breakfast. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. I'm a serial monster. Serial killer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think it'd be a good idea to admit to that on the internet. <laughs> Mike Trout action. Bang. Yes, let's go. Oh, now we got two going. All right. Um, so 1962 to 83 started with the Giants. Uh, Willie McCovey? No, he was always with the Giants. He didn't play for that many teams, did he? Here's your uh, Tigers one. 2002 through 2011 started with the Yankees, then the Rangers. Then Detroit, then the Yankees, then the Dodgers. Ooh. I don't know if verbally that works for you. For no, me, I, I would have to read it. Yeah, no, oh, okay. I'm like, I'm on that has I like heritage or uh I like heritage this year. I like three cards. Yep. You get card dust all over the mat. Yeah. Oh man. The first year they did uh Prism baseball, I think. All of the cards were coated in this white, dusty film. Every single card. And it just got everywhere. It's a cool concept, but... So, 
Yeah, Zen, guess. Or name it. Tell us, who is it? Hey, I found another auto. That's three. This guy's uh, old. Phil Regan? Cubs. Dina. Phil Regan. He played for the Tigers for a long time. Gaylord Perry. Yeah, for Weebos. That makes sense. Is it uh, Curtis Granderson? Zinbeck? Hansur Alberto? He's from... Uh... He's from down by me, or where I grew up. Talk about he uh, his I worked with his best friend. Oh, it was did? crazy. Yeah, like at like the height of his awesome too. Just like this is, you know that guy? Like no, I don't know him. Like he's he's in town. Like, Sleeps at my house. <laughs> Got the joy of meeting by today and talk about a guy. He's like, he's like, Jenny. yeah. How about this old card Fergie Jenkins, Steve Carlton, Al Downing, and Tom Seaver. This is the best throwback card I've ever seen. They're usually like some weird, obscure player that you've never heard of. This card's awesome. All right. Not Granderson. All right. First, I'm thinking it was Kenny Rogers, but that was way past it. Kenny Rogers, huh? Uh, what about... No, Prince started there. Initials MT. Marcus who? Marcus Thames. Marcus Thames. No. Nice. Know he uh I know he was drafted by the Yankees, but I didn't think he had any time with the Yankees because Marcus Thames was he came up from Detroit down in Toledo back in 05 when it was Granderson, Craig Monroe, Thames. And then they all came up in 2016 or 2006 and went to the World Series. So that's cool. I didn't know he played for the Rangers. He's going to be a head coach. I wanted him to be head coach for the Tigers. He was in the final round. He didn't get it. Viva. 
We're going to at least five a.m. No. We're doing a whole nother two cases. No. This is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it was almost. Colton Wong. Uh, French version. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you still got four boxes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got started late. I had some troubles getting the stream going. I've got all my settings screwed up on this new computer. I need to play with that. Ooh, that's nice. Trevor Bauer. Chrome. To 372. I like that red on gold. I guess it's more yellowish. And Winter Olympics. Is that Sochi? Or that was later? Sochi even in Japan? Geography, not my strong suit. 1930 to 1947. Started with Detroit, ended with Pittsburgh. Hank Greenberg? Hank Greenberg. That's the only player I would know. I don't know if he ever played. <laughs> Okay, nice. Let's go. The reason why I know that is because I have a nice play ball. Oh, jeez. I think the oldest card I have is a Walter Payton rookie. Thirty-nine play ball, the whole set. Jeez. They're like half, you know, like monopoly, like the cards, properties. Yeah. Like that. Uh, Devers, game used jersey. That had to be on a hard set to put together. Uh, my grandpa. Oh, tch. well. Okay. Add a card. I think I got some cards, you know, like how it was. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm sure you do. Pulls it out, I go, oh, my. <laughs> Charlie Fox. Okay, old old card. Zin, that's that's cool to know. I didn't know Greenberg played for uh, Pittsburgh. You know what I want to figure out next is once those couches get here and that coffee table, I want to figure out a way to get a second mic over there and have two going at the same time without interfering with one another. A good story on how he got to Pittsburgh. All right. Bet it was a bus. But um ching.
Huh. The Tigers didn't take kindly to that. Shipped them off to Pittsburgh. Huh. That's, That's hilarious. Max Scherzer purple. Okay. Oh, we got this is the hot box. Here we go, Brandon Lowe. I didn't mean to rhyme that. Bryce Harper. Lou Bob. Bang. Let's go. White Sox. JH. Pretty Freeman. Pretty heady stuff of the, the Tigers. You read these? Yeah. It's nuts. For a charity event. Here's what he wears. <laughs> That's brutal. Joey Vato. Jorge Soler. Holly Goldschmidt. It's still weird to see him on the Cardinals. Bart, Varsho, and Jeffers. So all the AL teams were on board with that, huh? Six Toes Sanchez and Jesus Sanchez. Jacob DeGroom action. It's an actual action card. Oh, yeah. Greenberg and uh, Jackie Robinson. The outcast Jew. <laughs> Bo Bichette. Mike Yastrzemski. Loriano? Yeah, I'm feeling Zinn and I are going to be talking lots of days. Oh, I bet. Words like this, I doubt. He's got them for days. Kershaw? Verlander? Shohei? Verdugo. Eloy. I'm sad about Eloy. Yeah. Maybe he can go to Europe and get some stem cell therapy. Is that Granky? Why isn't that legal here? Garcia, Anderson, and Javier. Trevor Story. Game used. Bat relic. I like the bat relics better than the jersey relics. 
Carlson and Evan White. That is it on your hot box. 95. That wasn't Jambi, was it? I don't remember Giambi on Colorado or Cleveland, but it would make sense. No, because Giambi took... Giambi was the MVP in 95. Harmon Killebrew throwback. That's awesome. Not throwback. Original. It was Giambi. It was it? Yeah. I wow. Zen. Zen, I got a story for you. So I worked for baseball for a while. Um, here's just one that was off the top of my head since we we're talking about older Tigers players. A lot of these old Tiger players would like come to spring training and like they would come, you know, hang out and, you know, basically just kind of hang out and stuff like that. Well, Willie Horton, probably the most hilarious guy in the world, would come every single day. And he would act like he you're like he's your grandpa. Like if you did something, like he would ask you to do everything. Like, oh, get me a golf cart. Will you move my car? And I was like, anything for you, Willie. And he would hand out these signed autograph cards of him. And he would hand them out like, oh yeah, I moved his car. He'd hand me one. I'm like, Willie, you gave me ten yesterday. <laughs> Everyone had about fifty signed cards of him after a week being with him for a week. And it was just hilarious because he's been doing it for like 15 years. He would never tip anyone for anything, but he would give these autograph cards that were all smushed up in his pocket. <laughs> and I'll just never forget that. Good old Willie. Walk around like a... With the cards in his pocket, like yeah. a stack of cash. <laughs> yeah. And like just hand them out like casually. Like, dude, Willie, no offense, dude, but like I really don't really want this. Like, you've given me hundreds. <laughs> in his pocket he's a great guy though man he's, he is a character Those stories like that is what what I miss most about Action Christian Yelich. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, man. I <laughs> does Really? Yeah, he's got that. <clears throat> Everything I've seen of him do, like videos wise, like he's the nicest guy in the world, which I never took him to really be like that. Creating my own yeah. uh, process of his character. He's got his endocrine system in balance these days. <laughs> Stole the uh, back to back to back. 
MVP from Frank Thomas. I love looking at players. It's insane. And he did it clean. I mean, he was freaking is, was a, a monster, but he's like, steroids? The hell would I need steroids for? Have you ever seen me? <laughs> he's massive. His beer sucks. His beer? Yeah, he made, I don't know if he still does. Uh, for a while he did. Somebody sent me some. And I said I had to drink it during a break. So I did. It was horrible. <laughs> it was very strong. Oh, was it? Yeah. Like, Ozzy like Albiez. <laughs> yeah, it was like malt liquor. Yelich? He's got a lot of talent. We always used to talk about him when he was with the Marlins and how good he was going to be, how good he was. I was pumped for that. When I did that trade, I said, watch. In that stadium. Yeah. Yeah. New Genics. Zin, who's your favorite team? Or are you just a baseball fan in general? I would love to. They adjusted their team pretty well and quickly to that new outdoor stadium. The Newark Eagles, I don't know about them either. New York Giants is a cool one. Nick Madrigal action. Yeah, I for a while. Kind of crazy to think that that only happened in the 70s. That's brutal. Like an age where a lot of them, a lot of. Mm hmm. Yep.
We have a bunch of children's books that talk about that kind of stuff. Um, and our kids are always just blown away. Just reading about it, like, is so effective. Yeah, like, just seriously? How? about this one? Oh, that's cool. What's that now? 35? Oh my god. Started collecting. Uh huh. John Means jersey. Something that's cheap, but I can chase. Like when I'm at card shows and stuff, like where I can look through the outer boxes. Yeah, a lot of times people know what they have with yeah. those cards. Last box. Let's go. One hour and 17 minutes. Mike Trout. I feel about Tops Update. I, love, I like Tops Update. Cool. I've got some. Yeah, I saw some back there. I like all that stuff. I think it would be a cool break. I want to try to set up a way that you and Justin can do a break together because um, he needs to learn baseball. You already got it down. I think it would be a fun interaction. Maybe like a, like a three box break. Or four alternate boxes or something. Yeah, I hear that a lot. I was kind of disappointed on the checklist. Yeah, well, there was no one to bring up. <laughs> well, there's a lot of players that got like a little bit of service time, but they kept, they didn't throw everyone on there. Cronenworth, real one. <laughs> there we go. What's this? Rio Ruiz. Black border. Sea of sports cards. Retired players in update. Yeah, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? Uh, 1997 through 2015. Started with Minnesota, went to the Angels, then Detroit, then Minnesota. Oh, 
Story Hunter. Ooh, good one. Another guy's breakfast. Tory Hunter? They always show me uh, videos. Yeah, I was watching something one day and he just took his shoes off while he was warming up, signed it, and threw it into the stance to a kid. So the foundation for the Roma, he would send box box. God. That's an that's something that I want to do um, quickly is do like charity break with all of the proceeds going to Crossnor. The After I think we could probably get a lot of people behind that and get a lot of cool stuff. Okay. Oh, a keynote to 99 jersey. I look at stuff like that. Character. Clubhouse character. That definitely has a huge value. All right. Recap. Um, our chromes, Trevor Bauer. The red ones are to 372. The non refractors are to 999. Sunny Gray, that one's to 572. Yelich to 572. And then uh, these are all from the hot box. Boom. Uh, jerseys at Aquino to 99. John Means, Ozzy Albiez, Trevor Story, Rafael Devers, Cunha, Winker, and Aquino. Uh, variations Rio Ruiz, Madrigal, Action. Yelich action, the groom action, uh, Colton Wong, uh, French text, trout action. It's a cool one. George Mitterwald. Oh, I thought that was the killer brew. Uh, Tyler O'Neill, French back. Joe Adele action, Nate Pearson action, Javier Baez action. Bryce Harper, team color. Um, these were, th this is the one I was talking about. Killebrew. And then this one. Your autographs, Phil Regan. Dalton Varsho. And Jake Cronenworth to 72, red ink. Yeah, he needs to work on his action. And that's it. That is it. Thank you, everybody, very much. We appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.